Contrary to popular belief, the creation of the classic film Blazing Saddles wasn't a result of extensive analysis by a team of accomplished screenwriters and directors. In reality, the process was quite different. Behind the scenes, the writers and directors worked in a dynamic and fast-paced environment. Brainstorming sessions were filled with laughter and spontaneous ideas, which often led to the creation of some of the most memorable scenes in the movie. The writers would build upon each other's ideas, sometimes even interrupting each other mid-sentence with a new concept. This chaotic process, while unconventional, allowed for a unique form of creativity to flourish. Despite the film's controversial nature, the team remained committed to their vision. They were not afraid to push boundaries and challenge societal norms, which ultimately resulted in a groundbreaking comedy that has stood the test of time. The making of Blazing Saddles serves as a reminder that the creative process is not always linear or predictable. Sometimes, it's the unexpected and spontaneous moments that lead to the most innovative and memorable creations. Mel Brooks, the director of Blazing Saddles, was known for his innovative approach to filmmaking. He had a unique style that allowed his cast members to get creative with their lines, which contributed to the film's status as one of the greatest comedic creations of all time. Blazing Saddles is a satirical western that tells the story of a black sheriff who is appointed to a racist town in the American West. The film uses humor to tackle serious issues such as racism and prejudice, making it a groundbreaking comedy. Brooks's willingness to take risks and push boundaries is evident throughout the movie. He uses satire and parody to poke fun at western movie tropes and cliches, creating a film that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. The cast of Blazing Saddles is equally impressive, with notable performances from Gene Wilder, Cleavon Little, and Harvey Corman. Brooks gave his cast members the freedom to improvise and add their own comedic touches to the script, resulting in a film that is both hilarious and unpredictable. Blazing Saddles has stood the test of time and remains a beloved classic today. Its innovative approach to comedy and willingness to tackle serious issues make it a must-see for fans of the genre. Brooks's direction and the cast's creative input have made Blazing Saddles a true comedic masterpiece. In 1974, the movie Blazing Saddles made its debut, surprising everyone with its success. This film dared to defy the traditional norms of filmmaking, attracting audiences from various backgrounds through its groundbreaking humor. Blazing Saddles stood out from other films of its time, tackling controversial topics with a unique blend of satire and comedy. The story revolves around a black sheriff who is appointed to protect a racist frontier town, resulting in a series of hilarious and thought-provoking situations. The film's unexpected success can be attributed to its ability to challenge societal norms and expectations. Audiences were drawn to the film's bold humor and its willingness to address controversial issues. The movie's boundary-pushing nature allowed it to resonate with viewers, creating a shared experience that transcended cultural and social barriers. Blazing Saddles proved that comedy could be a powerful tool for social commentary. The film's irreverent humor and daring subject matter made it a cultural touchstone, inspiring future filmmakers to push the boundaries of what was considered possible in cinema. Despite being over 45 years old, Blazing Saddles remains a beloved classic. Its enduring appeal can be attributed to its timeless humor and its ability to address serious issues with a light-hearted touch. The film's impact can still be felt today, serving as a reminder of the power of comedy to bring people together and challenge the status quo. Blazing Saddles touched on sensitive topics like racism and inclusivity, pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable in film and serving as a pioneer in the entertainment industry, which contributed to its long-lasting success and cultural impact. This classic movie's bold approach to addressing these issues set it apart from other films of its time, making it a groundbreaking and influential work in the realm of cinema. The film's willingness to tackle these difficult subjects in a comedic and thought-provoking manner resonated with audiences and critics alike, cementing its place in the annals of history. Blazing Saddles, the 1974 film, stirred up a great deal of controversy during its time. Its use of racial slurs and taboo language, combined with unplanned scenes that became iconic, made it a provocative and talked-about piece of cinema history. The film's creator, Mel Brooks, took a significant risk in producing this movie as he faced potential backlash from both critics and audiences. Despite the controversy, Brooks refused to make any cuts or edits to the film. His determination paid off as Blazing Saddles became a commercial success. 
and has since been regarded as a classic example of satirical comedy. The movie's ability to tackle serious issues with humor and wit has allowed it to endure and remain relevant even in today's society. Brooks' career was marked by a willingness to take risks and push boundaries. With Blazing Saddles, he created a film that not only challenged societal norms, but also solidified his place as a trailblazer in the world of comedy. The movie's impact can still be felt today, as it continues to inspire filmmakers and entertain audiences with its unique blend of humor and satire. In the end, Blazing Saddles stands as a testament to Mel Brooks' artistic vision and his willingness to take risks. Despite the controversy, the film remains a beloved and enduring piece of cinema history. Its impact on the world of comedy is undeniable, and it continues to resonate with audiences today. The idea for the 1974 comedy film Blazing Saddles came from a 30-page outline by Andrew Bergman. This outline was later developed into a full script by the movie's director, Mel Brooks, and a team of writers, which included Richard Pryor. The film's origins are deeply rooted in this original concept, which was then brought to life by the creative team. Casting the right actors for the film's lead roles was crucial to its success. The role of Sheriff Bart, the film's protagonist, was initially offered to John Wayne. However, Wayne turned down the part, and Cleveland Little was eventually cast in the role. Little's performance as the first African-American sheriff in a Western film was groundbreaking and helped to make the movie a success. Similarly, the role of the Waco Kid, a washed-up gunslinger who becomes Bart's sidekick, was initially offered to several other actors before Gene Wilder accepted the part. Wilder's comedic timing and chemistry with Little were instrumental in bringing the film to life and contributing to its success. In summary, the origins of Blazing Saddles can be traced back to Andrew Bergman's original outline, which was later developed into a full script by Mel Brooks and a team of writers. The casting of Cleveland Little as Sheriff Bart and Gene Wilder as the Waco Kid was crucial to the film's success as they brought the characters to life in a way that resonated with audiences. The script for the 1974 comedy film Blazing Saddles was a collaborative effort. Co-writers included Mel Brooks, Andrew Bergman, Richard Pryor, Norman Steinberg, and Alan Uger. Pryor, known for his sharp wit and social commentary, advocated for the inclusion of racial slurs in the script. He believed this would emphasize the film's satire of bigotry and prejudice. One of the most memorable scenes in Blazing Saddles involves the line, These are the people of the land, the common clay of the New West. You know morons, interestingly, this dialogue was not part of the original script. It was an ad-libbed line, an unscripted moment by actor Gene Wilder, which made it to the final cut. This scene, like many others in the film, uses humor to critique and challenge societal norms of the time. The theme song for this classic, Blazing Saddles, performed by Frankie Lane, has an interesting backstory. Initially, the song was intended to be serious, which adds to the humor of its placement in the film. Lane was unaware that the movie was a comedy when he recorded the song, lending an unexpected earnestness to the track. This incongruity between the song's serious tone and the film's comedic nature is one of the many elements that make Blazing Saddles so memorable. The film's soundtrack, including Lane's theme song, has become an integral part of its enduring appeal. The production of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles was not without its share of legal troubles. Mel Brooks, the director, found himself in a lawsuit with actress Hedy Lamar. The issue stemmed from the use of a character named similar to Lamar's, Hedley Lamar, in the film. This lawsuit, though settled out of court, only added to the movie's growing notoriety. In addition to this, the character Mongo, played by former NFL star Alex Karras, became an iconic figure in the movie. One scene, in particular, where Mongo punches a horse, gained significant attention. This scene was inspired by a story that Mel Brooks had heard from comedian Sid Caesar. The combination of real-life inspiration and the comedic timing of Alex Karras made this scene and the character of Mongo unforgettable. The movie, with its blend of humor, satire, and Western genre, has stood the test of time, remaining a classic in American cinema. The characters, including the lawsuit inspiring Hedley Lamar, and the iconic Mongo continued to resonate with audiences, both old and new. Warner Brothers executives had initial concerns about the content of Blazing Saddles, a groundbreaking film released in 1974. The movie, known for its racial humor and satire, raised eyebrows within the studio due to its use of racial slurs and controversial scenes. In response, the executives suggested making significant cuts to the film 
which the director, Mel Brooks, firmly refused. Brooks, with his final cut rights, held the power to make the ultimate decision regarding the film's content. This authority allowed him to preserve the integrity of his creative vision, including the controversial scenes that contributed to the film's unfiltered humor. Despite the studio's pushback, Brooks' determination to keep these scenes ultimately led to the movie's success. The film's raw and unapologetic humor resonated with audiences, making Blazing Saddles a classic in its own right. Brooks' ability to push boundaries and challenge societal norms through his artistry is a testament to his talent and the film's enduring legacy. The movie's success is a clear indication of the power of unfiltered humor and the importance of preserving an artist's creative vision. Blazing Saddles, the 1974 comedy film directed by Mel Brooks, had a rocky start when it came to initial critical reactions. However, test screenings in major cities revealed a different story. Despite the critics' disapproval, audiences found themselves laughing and cheering for this unconventional western. The film's wide release was met with commercial success, demonstrating the disconnect between critical and public opinion. The movie has since earned its place as a classic, known for its provocative content and bold satire. Its humor and storyline push boundaries, making it a product of its time. In today's more sensitive cultural climate, it is difficult to imagine a film like Blazing Saddles being made. Yet, its daring nature is precisely what makes it celebrated and memorable. The film's legacy lies in its ability to tackle serious issues with humor, providing social commentary on racism and Western stereotypes. While some may argue that its approach is insensitive, it is important to remember the context of the time. Blazing Saddles was a bold move, using satire to challenge societal norms and expectations. In the end, Blazing Saddles remains a testament to Mel Brooks' comedic genius and the power of satire. Its provocative content may not be suitable for all audiences, but its impact on the film industry is undeniable. This classic continues to be enjoyed and discussed, a testament to its enduring appeal. The title of the 1974 movie, now a classic, underwent several changes before finally becoming Blazing Saddles. Initially, it was called tex -X. Later, the title was changed to Black Bart. However, the final title, Blazing Saddles, was chosen by the director, Mel Brooks, who felt it perfectly captured the Western genre and the film's absurdity. This title change was a significant decision as it reflected the unique blend of humor and Western tropes that the movie is now known for. Released in 1974, Blazing Saddles quickly made an impact on audiences and critics alike. The film's irreverent humor and groundbreaking approach earned it three Oscar nominations, including for Best Music, Original Song, and Best Music, Scoring Adaptation, and Original Song Score. The movie's cultural significance was further cemented when it was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 1989. This recognition is reserved for films that are deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant, highlighting Blazing Saddles' enduring legacy as a significant piece of American cinema. In addition to its critical acclaim, Blazing Saddles was a massive commercial success. The film returned almost 1,000% of its production cost and revenue, demonstrating its widespread appeal and enduring popularity. The film's impact continues to be discussed and analyzed 50 years after its release. Its satirical take on racism and Western genre conventions remains relevant and thought-provoking, while its memorable characters and iconic moments have made it a beloved classic for generations of audiences. Despite the passing of time, Blazing Saddles remains a significant and influential film, leaving a lasting mark on the world of cinema and continuing to entertain and inspire audiences today. Its cultural impact and enduring legacy are a testament to its timeless appeal and enduring relevance. Blazing Saddles, a 1974 movie, is a comedic western that tells the story of Bart, a black railroad worker who becomes the sheriff of a small town, Rock Ridge. The townsfolk are initially hostile towards Bart, but he wins them over with his bravery and wit. The film, known for its satirical humor, tackles racism and other social issues. The movie takes place in the Wild West, where lawlessness and chaos reign. Bart, played by Cleavon Little, is a quick-witted and resourceful character who must navigate the challenges of being an African-American lawman in a predominantly white town. Gene Wilder stars as the Waco Kid, a washed-up gunslinger who becomes Bart's deputy. Blazing Saddles was a groundbreaking film for its time receiving critical acclaim and several award nominations. 
It was directed by the legendary Mel Brooks, who also co-wrote the screenplay. The film's unique blend of humor and social commentary has made it a classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. The casting process for the 1974 movie, Blazing Saddles, was a unique journey. The film's director, Mel Brooks, had a clear vision for the characters, but was open to surprises. For the lead role of Bart, the black sheriff, Brooks originally wanted to cast a serious, well-known actor. However, during auditions, he stumbled upon Cleavon Little, a relatively unknown actor. Little's comedic timing and charm won Brooks over, and he was cast as Bart. The role of the Waco Kid, a washed-up, alcoholic gunslinger, was initially offered to several big-name stars. But it was Gene Wilder who brought a certain vulnerability and humor to the character that ultimately secured the part. The chemistry between Little and Wilder was instant, as was their on-screen rapport. Their comedic timing and delivery were in sync, creating a dynamic duo that carried the film. The supporting roles were also carefully cast. Harvey Corman, a regular in Brooks's films, was chosen as Hedley Lemar, the villainous politician. Corman's ability to play both comedic and dramatic scenes made him the perfect fit. Madeline Kahn, a relatively new actress at the time, was cast as Lily Von Shittup, a Marlene Dietrich-like saloon singer. Kahn's comedic chops and singing ability won her the role, and she delivered a memorable performance. The casting of Blazing Saddles was a testament to Brooks's ability to see beyond the obvious and find the right actors for the roles. The film's success was a result of the perfect blend of comedy, satire, and casting. The director of Blazing Saddles, Mel Brooks, had a clear vision for the film. He aimed to create a satirical western that poked fun at racism and other social issues. Brooks drew inspiration from classic westerns, but he also wanted to subvert their conventions. To bring his vision to life, Brooks employed a unique directing style. He encouraged improvisation and ad living from the cast, which included comedy legends like Gene Wilder and Cleavon Little. This approach resulted in a hilarious and unpredictable film that still resonates today. Brooks also worked closely with the crew to create the film's distinctive look. He collaborated with cinematographer Joseph Barak to achieve the film's gritty, realistic visual style. The production design team, led by John DeQueer, created the film's various western sets, from the dusty town of Rock Ridge to the opulent governor's mansion. Blazing Saddles was a daring and innovative film for its time, and it remains a classic example of Mel Brooks' comedic genius. Its enduring popularity is a testament to Brooks' ability to create timeless comedy that continues to resonate with audiences today. The 1974 film Blazing Saddles is a classic Western comedy with a unique production story. The set design was quite a spectacle, featuring a full-scale replica of a Wild West town. The production team even built a functional railroad station, complete with a train, to add authenticity. The filming locations were diverse, ranging from the Warner Brothers backlot in Burbank, California, to the nearby Vasquez Rocks Natural Area Park. The latter provided a striking desert landscape, despite being just a short drive from the bustling city of Los Angeles. However, filming was not without its challenges. The production faced logistical issues, such as managing the large cast and crew, and ensuring the safety of the cast during the stunt scenes. To overcome these challenges, the production team had to be innovative and adaptable. One notable technique employed during filming was the use of a special effects process called force perspective. This technique made objects or actors appear larger or smaller than they actually were, creating a comical effect in certain scenes. In addition, the film script was groundbreaking for its time, featuring racial humor and satire that resonated with audiences. The film's impact transcended the world of cinema, leaving a mark on popular culture that continues to this day. Despite the challenges faced during production, Blazing Saddles remains a testament to the creativity and innovation of the film industry. The film's enduring legacy is a testament to the power of humor and satire, and its influence can still be seen in modern cinema. In the 1974 classic, Blazing Saddles, the musical score and soundtrack play a crucial role in enhancing the film's narrative and emotional tone. Composed by the talented John Morris, the music is a clever blend of various genres, including western, comedy, and drama. Morris's score perfectly complements the film's satirical take on the western genre. The use of harmonicas, banjos, and other traditional western instruments creates an authentic atmosphere. However, Morris also incorporates unexpected elements, such as big band swing, and even a touch of disco, to add humor 
and keep the audience on their toes. The soundtrack features several memorable songs, including I'm Tired, performed by Frankie Lane. This song, with its weary tone and melancholic melody, perfectly encapsulates the feelings of the film's protagonist, Bart, played by Cleavon Little. Interestingly, the film's iconic theme song, Blazing Saddles, was not originally composed for the movie. Instead, it was a hit song from 1969, performed by the band, Free Dog Night. However, its inclusion in the film adds to the comedic tone and makes for a memorable opening sequence. The musicians involved in creating the score and soundtrack also played a significant role. For instance, the guitar work was handled by the renowned session musician, Tommy Tedesco, who brought his unique style and flair to the music. In conclusion, the musical score and soundtrack of Blazing Saddles are a testament to the power of music and film. They not only enhance the narrative and emotional tone, but also add an extra layer of humor and entertainment. The composers and musicians involved should be proud of their contributions to this classic film. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles is the campfire scene, where the main character, Bart, played by Cleavon Little, shares a beer with a bigoted old prospector, played by Mel Brooks. This scene is a masterclass in direction, performance, and cinematography. The scene is set in a desolate, rocky landscape, with the campfire as the only source of light. The camera work is intimate and focused, with close-ups of the characters' faces, highlighting their expressions and reactions. The use of low-key lighting enhances the mood, creating a sense of isolation and tension. The performance of both Little and Brooks is exceptional. Little's delivery is dry and sarcastic, while Brooks's performance is over-the-top and comical. The contrast between the two styles creates a unique dynamic that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. The impact of this scene on the audience is profound. It challenges stereotypes and breaks down barriers, demonstrating that people from different backgrounds can find common ground and form meaningful connections. The scene is a testament to the power of humor and its ability to transcend societal norms. Mel Brooks, the director and co-writer of the movie, spoke about the scene in an interview, stating, I wanted to show that people are people, no matter their race or background. The campfire scene is a perfect example of that. Cleavon Little, in a separate interview, shared his thoughts on the scene, saying, it was a powerful moment, and it resonated with the audience. It showed that humor can be a powerful tool for social change. The campfire scene in Blazing Saddles is a timeless example of exceptional filmmaking, with its impact still felt today. It is a scene that continues to challenge and inspire audiences, leaving a lasting impression on all who watch it. Blazing Saddles, a 1974 movie directed by Mel Brooks, made a significant impact on popular culture and sparked discussions on various social and cultural themes. The film's irreverent humor and groundbreaking representation resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impression. Set in the Wild West, Blazing Saddles dared to challenge racial stereotypes by casting African-American actor Cleavon Little as a black sheriff in a predominantly white town. This bold choice allowed the film to explore issues of race and discrimination in a satirical manner, prompting audiences to question and reflect on their own biases. The movie's humor transcended traditional boundaries, incorporating slapstick, parody, and satire to create a unique blend of comedy. By poking fun at various cultural touchstones, Blazing Saddles encouraged viewers to laugh at themselves and the world around them, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared experience. Moreover, Blazing Saddles has been credited with influencing numerous modern filmmakers and comedians who have drawn inspiration from its daring and unconventional approach to humor. Its impact can be seen in the works of contemporary comedians and filmmakers who continue to push the boundaries of comedy and social commentary. In addition to its comedic influence, Blazing Saddles also contributed to discussions on the role of women in society. The film featured Madeleine Kahn as a German seductress who subverted gender norms with her powerful and commanding performance. Kahn's character offered a fresh perspective on femininity and strength, inspiring future generations of actresses and filmmakers. Despite its age, Blazing Saddles remains a relevant and thought-provoking film continuing to resonate with audiences today. Its cultural and social impact is a testament to the power of humor and satire in challenging societal norms and fostering meaningful conversations. Moreover, Blazing Saddles received a warm reception from critics upon its release. Many praised its sharp humor and bold satire of racism and the Western genre. Notable reviews highlighted the film's clever writing 
and memorable performances, particularly from Gene Wilder and Cleavon Little. Audiences reacted positively, often laughing at the film's outrageous jokes and unexpected twists. Additionally, the film was nominated for three Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actress for Madeleine Kahn. While it did not win any Oscars, the nominations underscored the film's quality and the talent of those involved. The film's success at the box office further solidified its status as a classic. The recognition from critics and audiences alike meant a great deal for the cast and crew, validating their efforts in creating a film that tackled serious issues with humor. This blend of comedy and social commentary set a new standard in filmmaking, influencing future generations. The accolades received by Blazing Saddles reflected not only its entertainment value, but also its cultural significance during a time of social change. During the making of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles, there was a memorable moment when the cast and crew had to film the iconic campfire scene. As they gathered around the fire, tensions were high due to the challenging shooting conditions. However, Mel Brooks, the director, lightened the mood by cracking jokes and keeping everyone entertained. This camaraderie helped the team bond and create a sense of unity, leading to a successful and unforgettable scene that remains a fan favorite to this day. Blazing Saddles, the 1974 classic film directed by Mel Brooks, has left a significant mark on film history. This groundbreaking comedy, known for its satirical take on the Western genre, has greatly influenced future filmmaking and inspired numerous subsequent works. The movie's daring approach to humor and social commentary was a breath of fresh air in its time. By casting African-American actor Cleavon Little as a black sheriff in a predominantly white frontier town, Blazing Saddles challenged racial stereotypes and paved the way for more diverse representation in cinema. Blazing Saddles' impact can be seen in various films and TV shows that followed, such as the popular animated series The Simpsons and the comedy film Spaceballs, also directed by Mel Brooks. These works have adopted the same irreverent style and biting satire that made Blazing Saddles so successful. Moreover, Blazing Saddles has become a touchstone for comedic storytelling, inspiring filmmakers to push boundaries and explore new forms of humor. Its influence extends to contemporary filmmakers like Taika Waititi, whose work on Jojo Rabbit, and Thor Ragnarok bears the imprint of Blazing Saddles' unique blend of comedy and social commentary. In conclusion, Blazing Saddles has proven to be a timeless piece of cinema, leaving an indelible mark on film history and continuing to inspire future generations of filmmakers. Revisiting the 1974 classic, Blazing Saddles brings back a rush of memories. The film's unique blend of humor and satire left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. It's a story that, despite the passing years, remains as relevant and entertaining as ever. The movie's daring take on racism and the Wild West was a breath of fresh air. It dared to challenge societal norms, making it a trailblazer in its own right. The characters were relatable, each with their own distinct personality that resonated with audiences. The film's impact was far-reaching. It inspired many future filmmakers to push boundaries and explore uncharted territories. It was a testament to the power of cinema demonstrating how a well-told story could both entertain and provoke thought. If you're watching Blazing Saddles for the first time or revisiting it after years, you're sure to find something to cherish. The film's humor, while rooted in its historical context, still manages to tickle our funny bones. Its satire, while biting, is also a reflection of the times, making it a fascinating study of the 1970s. So, why not share your own memories of Blazing Saddles? Did it make you laugh? Did it make you think? How did it influence your perspective on cinema? We'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this journey down memory lane, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Until next time, keep the memories alive and the cinema